<coughs> last khutbah we were talking and about some ayat from surah Atin and then surah Al-Alaq that teach us about the fact that the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hikmah and his wisdom both necessitate that there will be accountability we started this talk when we talked about the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in establishing accountability and the various signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us in his book and in this world of his ability to resurrect people and then we talked about how it is expected based on the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will establish accountability and we talked about the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his mercy necessitates that people should be held accountable for what they've done especially the rahmah towards the oppressed <coughs> also we talked about the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hikmah the wisdom of Allah and that was referred to in surah Atin wa Zaytun and then at the end of the surah Allah says فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينَ after all this how can someone one deny accountability يَوْمِ الدِّينَ the day of accountability um, <clears throat> and he didn't say فَمَنْ يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينَ but said فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينَ مَا تُسْتَعْمَلْ لِغَيْرِ الْعَاقِلِ uh, indicating that that person who uh, rejects uh, the fact that there will be accountability he has not used his mind uh, he has gone down to a level that is equal to the level of non-human beings meaning animals and then Surah Al-Alaq which is the first Surah revealed in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> after uh, the beginning of the Surah uh, uh, said إِنَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ الرُّجْعَ uh, everyone will go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for accountability and then he uh, made quick references to uh, how people will vary in their conduct in this life such a big variation that necessitates according to the wisdom and justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everyone to be treated differently since they were different and they had the free will to do what is right but they chose to do what is wrong and that resulted in such big variability then it is expected that uh, everyone will be treated according to what he has done in this life inna ila rabbika ruj'a kalla inna insana la yadha arra'ahu istaghna inna ila rabbika ruj'a and then he says ara'ayta alladhi yanha abdan ila salla this is a very evil kind of human being who not only is he evil in his own self but he does not want anyone to be righteous يَنْهَا عَبْدًا إِذَا صَلَّى if someone starts praying he starts prohibiting him from praying and, and we've seen things like this uh, it varied between prohibiting certain ahkam uh, of Islam in their countries or even to sometimes closing down the masajid and preventing people from praying in it or terrorizing people who go to pray in it وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِنْ مَنْ مَنْعَ مَسَاجِرَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُذْكَرَ فِيهَا اسْمُهُ وَسَعَى فِي خَرَابِهَا أُولَئِكَ مَا كَانَ لَهُمْ أَنْ يَدْخُلُوهَا إِلَّا خَائِفِينَ لَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا خِزٍ وَلَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ يَنْهَى عَبْدًا إِذَا صَلَّى That's the worst kind أَرَأَيْتَ إِنْ كَانَ عَلَى الْهُدَى أَوْ أَمَرَ بِالتَّقْوَى Two better levels of human beings إِنْ كَانَ عَلَى الْهُدَى Someone who follows righteousness and keeps to himself and أَوْ أَمَرَ بِالتَّقْوَى Or on top of that another person who follows what is right and calls for what is right أَوْ أَمَرَ بِالتَّقْوَى أَرَأَيْتَ إِنْ كَذَّبَ وَتَوَلَّى That is the fourth class of human beings who are evil but only to themselves they don't prohibit other people from trying to be righteous he himself he denied and he went on his own way uh, all these human beings did they not know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching them so this again a reference to the wisdom and justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hold everyone accountable and then <coughs> 
Another surah, surah At-Tur, for instance, in the beginning of the surah, the surah, وَطُورِ وَكِتَابٍ مَسْتُورٍ فِي رَقٍ مَنْشُورٍ والبيت المعمور والسقف المرفوع والبحر المسجور إن عذاب ربك لواقع ما له من دافع والطور الطور again just like in a tini was zaytun وطوري سينين a reference to the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Musa alayhi salam these revelations were not sent to people to so that people neglect them and take them lightly and not care about them these revelations are big milestones in the history of humanity that they should never be forgotten these the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows from this humanity people that he spoke with that is very huge how big is a human being in this universe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wallahi if you compare the size of the human being to the whole universe you can't even see him it's like nothing we are each individual or humanity altogether compared to the size of the universe is like nothing. I can't even tell you it's like if you compare one uh, particle of sand in a desert, if we hold all humanity and compare them to the universe, we're not even as uh, large, we're not even larger or even as large as one particle of sand in a, in a desert compared to the whole universe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, choose, choose this uh, creation of His for his teachings and for also to give them the free will which he has not given any other of his creation except the jinn and ins every other creation is set in a certain way they cannot go out of it even the malaika la ya'asun Allah ma amarahum wa yaf'alun ma yu'marun the non the material that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in this universe it all follows a certain rule you cannot find an atom that for instance is an iron atom behaving like a hydrogen atom you will never see that you can never go against the laws that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set for them you cannot find for instance a cow that is behaving like a monkey everything will follow a specific law that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set for it but human being was chosen from all this creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be given the free will to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to choose another way to live but then he will be held accountable inna aradna al-amanata ala al-samawati wal-ardi wal-jibad fa'abayna an yahmilnaha wa ashfaqna minha wa hamalaha al-insan innahu kana baluman jahula this amana, this free will, this mind this amana was for surah the surah kathira minha hurit al-irada wal-aql wal-fara'id wal-shara'i inna aradna al-amanata free will, the, the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave choice to all his creation ala samawati wal ardi wal jibal, to the heavens, to the planets, to the earth, to the mountains who wants to take this uh, trust uh, and, 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 and act uh, accordingly um, and this trust was the free will and the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the obligations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, wanted to uh, uh, yani, uh, wanted to apply to, to this creation so that uh, to choose uh, from amongst this creation that came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willingly not because they were set in a certain way they come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willingly which out of their free will and that is much higher than of course that is much higher than whoever is said just to obey. A human being, when he is, when he is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is elevated in the eyes of Allah above the malaika. Above the malaika. Even the malaika servant then. Even the malaika will be subservient to this human being. And they, and they, and, uh, and, uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them serve him uh, to make his life easy, to make his heart uh, like munsharikh, yani open and happy. Uh, to facilitate his guidance so many things even when he dies they, they, they bring him the glad tidings of where he's going so many things they protect him from danger so many other things when he's sleeping they protect him as well that is if he is righteous inshallah we'll continue in the second khutbah <clears throat> so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set this life in a certain way that if you look at it you would know that human beings have to be held accountable <coughs> Wattur, revelations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa kitab al-mastur. Another revelation. Kitab al-mastur, al-Qur'an. 
والطور وكتاب المسطور في رق منشور distributed openly to everyone في رق منشور written down distributed openly to everyone meaning that it is miraculous challenging there's no mistakes with it anyone can look at it and try to bring any mistake out of it or try to challenge it في رق منشور distributed openly not hidden because when you are afraid of what you have and you know that there are so many mistakes and additions and deletions then you don't show what you have to everyone just keep it to the people who are on your side and try to fool the people who are under you the shay'an, uh, the the nas the people who don't read these books you tell them, oh this is what it says, this is what you have to see and you don't show them you know for many centuries uh, religions, the, the, the shara, yani, yani Christianity and Judaism only a few verses of their books these were, were allowed to be taught to the people. Everything else was hidden. Everything else was hidden. So, but here, وكتاب المستور في رق المنشور والبيت المعمور البيت المعمور is like the Kaaba of Ahl al-Sama. It's like the Kaaba over in the heavens. Where, just like the people head to Mecca to make Hajj and Tawaf around the Kaaba on earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set a similar building in the heavens called Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur where all the angels come and make uh, Salah and Tawaf for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over there يدخله في كل يوم سبعون ألفا لا يعودون إليه إلى يوم القيامة every single day 70,000 angels from the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and earth every single day 70,000 angels go in and they never go back to it because another 70,000 will come the next day and the next day and so on until the day of judgment that started from the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything created anything this this Bayt al-Ma'mur has been there for the uh, the angels to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so another indication that if the whole universe is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the creation that is much stronger than human beings is the angel stronger or not stronger than a human being? much stronger than a human being Jibreel alayhi salam lifted the Qur'an Lut with, with, one, with one of his wings he lifted the whole country of uh, the people of Lut with uh, the tip of his wing and he brought it up to the heavens حتى يعني سمعت يعني صياح الديكة سمعت الملائكة صياح الديكة في السماء يعني and he took them so high in the heavens and then he brought it down upside down um, and uh, if these huge creation and then there's descriptions of the angels how big they are um, يعني جبريل Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says فإذا جبريل قاعد على كرسي بين السماء والأرض وقد سد الأفق he says when, when I saw جبريل for the first time uh, he heard someone calling on him and he looked and he saw Jibreel sitting between the heavens and earth he says وَقَدْ سَدَّ الْأُفُقُ he says he covered the whole horizon I couldn't see anything else all I could see up and down and sideways is Jibreel subhanallah so these enormous huge and mighty creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they are so subservient and obedient and so fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they go in the Bayt al-Ma'mur 70,000 of them every single day and they never come back because another 70,000 will go in the next day and how many, how many millions of angels subservient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all their might can a human being then be disobedient and go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those arrogant human beings who start cursing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only do they curse his religion and his prophet but they even, some of them even curse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and some of, even, some of them even deny his existence subhanallah so where did you come from? <laughs> if you deny the existence of your creator where did you come from? so <clears throat> another indication that human beings have no other choice but to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow his way wal bayt al-ma'mur comparing themselves with these angels Look at the heavens and how mighty this creation is. And the oceans. All these follow and are subservient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ Everything is making tasbih for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَالْبَحْرِ الْمَسْجُورِ 
in the adab of Rabbika lawaka. Based on all this revelations of Allah, creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is obedient to Him, regardless of how big and how mighty it is, it has no other way but to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is going to according to a certain rule, the heavens and earth and the, even the seas and everything. And how can a human being out of all this go and choose his own way and choose to go against his Lord? And how can that be acceptable for him from him uh, eventually? He will be held accountable. That's why the ayah that, that, that comes after that, Inna adaba rabbika dawaka. The punishment of your Lord will happen for those who don't, uh, who don't follow all these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has revealed, whether it is in the revelations or in what they see and live uh, in, uh, throughout their lives.